Peace and blessings, peace and blessings. Hope everyone is doing awesome. Um, today I'm going to be reading Luke chapter 15. I might just do the whole chapter because it's only 1 to 32. So I'm going to break it in like three parts. The first part I'm going to read <clears throat> is called, it's in parable, the lost sheep, which is 1 to 7. And the second part I'm going to read is a parable also, but it's from 8 to 10, and it's about the lost coin, the lady that lost the lost coin. She had a bunch of coins, and she ended up losing one, and she went out of her way to find that one. And when she found that one coin, she actually rejoiced and she invited her neighbors to come and celebrate with her. And the, the third part that I'm going to break it in is from 11 to 32. And this is about the lost son, the parable, the prodigal son, because he had two sons and the eldest stayed with him and the youngest stray and went and party and bullshit. <laughs> party up all his money and then he end up he was lost and then he end up finding his way back home he remembered the way the road that leads to home so this is a very important message today because it it's in like a parable it's in three different it means many different things at once so before we get started i ask god to bless us open our minds so we might understand that each one of us could be a, a sheep a lost sheep that was found by us being lost in the world and then us finding our way back to god amen all right so verse well chapter 15 from 1 to 7 the lost sheep then draw near unto me then draw near unto him all the publicans and sinners to hear him. And the Pharisees and the scribes murmured, saying, This man receiveth sinners and eateth with them. And he speak this parable unto them, saying, What man of you having a hundred sheep? <clears throat> If he loses one of them, does he leave the 99 in the wilderness and go after the one which he lost until he find it? And when he find it, he lay it, it upon his shoulders rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he called together his friends and neighbors saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repented more than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. So God is saying that pleases him when we find when there's nothing wrong with messing up, you know, because we always mess up. God celebrate both messing up and as long as you find yourself and redeem yourself and the ones that don't mess up. The world that we find ourselves and we didn't stray it and end up lost in the sauce. God celebrate when we, when you catch yourself, when you, when you reason with yourself and you know that not, none of us is perfect, but we all could learn from each other, correct? That's why you got good and bad, good and bad, evil and good. So, however you put it, everything is balanced to keep 
everything balance so the lost sheep so these three parts of the lesson they both are one because i noticed like both of them that's why when it comes to that's why i want to use this word mary mary m-e-r-r-y mary that's a very symbolic term because mary could mean like one you notice when a husband and a wife gets married they become one body under god when you have a nation everybody becomes one under god like a unit you know what i mean so it's very symbolic that that word alone by itself mary okay let's go so i'm gonna get into the lost coin now this is about the woman that lost one of her coins okay either what woman having 10 pieces of silver if she lose one piece does not light a candle and sweep the whole house and seek diligently till she find it and when she find it she call it her friends and neighbors together saying rejoice with me for i have found the peace which I had lost. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angel of God over one sinner that repented. God is saying, like how it goes back to what I usually say, when I say it's so easy to do the wrong things, right? It's so easy to get caught up in doing what's not good for us. And it's more attractive to us too. But when we do the, the right thing, it's even more difficult. So for us to catch ourselves and to make that step, that's a big step, that's not an ordinary step. Because most people get comfortable in the way they move and they forget about God. That's how you end up building like a hole that you can never fill because now you're gonna just keep wanting. It's like somebody that's greedy, right? They just always want, want, want. You could give them plenty and they still gonna want. You could never satisfy it. It's like a black hole that could never be filled, always sucking everything out. You don't wanna be like that. You wanna know what you want, and be about your father's business and get things done god was a good businessman he was the best businessman i know and god is a god is big in business god didn't say we shouldn't follow his footstep there's a difference with watching god as a role model and walking in his footstep compared to like trying to play something that we have no business. Let's go on. Verse 11 to 32. And he said, a certain man had two sons. So before I, I go on to the prodigal son i wanted to just play a little clip and talk about the lost sheep so you see how back to the sheep how god it's the same thing it's the same parable as the lady that lost that one coin so even though i'm talking about the sheep it's just to give you an idea of when you attend to the flock and you're doing your father's business and you lose one sheep or if a mule gets stuck on a Sabbath day and you help that one, there's nothing wrong with it. Or if there's a Sabbath day and you forgot to get certain things like such as milk or stuff for the kids and they're hungry and you ask God to excuse you like there's nothing wrong with that even though 
you just don't make it a habit. Like we always try to be prepared ahead of time instead of, but there's nothing wrong with if you don't have something and it's an emergency and you do it, you know what I mean? And this is the lady that lost her coin and she ended up finding the coin and then she started rejoicing. See, she searched till she found it and then she started rejoicing. She was happy to find it to the point where she just gave it away. So you see, it's, it's a moral in everything we do. God is great. Let's get into it. And he said, a certain man had two sons. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. So here's this young man, the youngest, saying he wants his portion he end up leaving home sometimes we have to lose ourselves in order to find ourselves here's the perfect example why and he divided unto them his living so the father divide the portion some for the elder and some for the younger verse 13 and not many days after the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country and there wasted his substance with riotous living. So his son was just partying and you know what young people do, we party. Well, I used to do that, but they party and they bullshit. So. Here he is spending up whatever he had that his father had blessed him with his portion. So, and many days after the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country and there wasted his substance with Aetas living. And when he had spent all there arose a mighty famine in that land and he began to be in want. So wherever he had went away to, there was a great famine in that land and he started finding himself wanting and needing things. Verse 15, and he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country and he sent him into his fields to feed swine he went and joined a citizen he needed money because he ran out of money when we young we make a lot of mistakes we don't think so we just spend it all up and not spending it wise and he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country and sent him into his field to feed swine. He would fain have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. So here he is, he was so hungry, he had his job was to he had a job was to feed the swine, and he was so hungry that he started eating the pig's food. He filled his belly with the pig's food too. Cause he was so hungry and he ain't had no money. As here he is reminiscing about his father house and how blessed he is and why he's where he is. Verse 17, and when he came to himself, he said, how many hired servants of my father's have bread enough to spear and I perish with hunger. I will arise and go to my father and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and I'm no more worthy to be called thy son. 
make me as one of the hired servants. So here he is, he's repenting because he know he did wrong, but that's how he ended up learning. He felt so ashamed of what he did. He told his father, he said, Father, I'm no longer worthy to be his son. Make me as one of your servants. But you know, a father's love is so similar to a mother's love. It's just precious, pure, it's protective. Verse 20, and he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran fell on his neck and kissed him. So his father saw him from a great way and he ran out to meet him and hugged him and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight and I'm no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servant, bring forth the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet and bring hither the fatted calf and kill it and let us eat and be merry. So back to the word that I was talking about, Mary. Verse 24, for this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to be merry. Now his eldest son, was in the field, and as he came and drew nigh to the house, he heard music and dancing. And he called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. And he said unto him, Thy brother is, is come, thy brother came home. And thy father had killed a fatted calf, and because he has received him safe and sound, and he was and, and he was angry. So here he is. He asks one of the father's servant, what's all this commotion? What's all this music and dancing and stuff going on? So the servant told him that your, your brother is home. The one that was lost, he came home and he's safe and sound. The elder was jealous. He was angry. And this is what it says. And he was angry and would not go in so he wouldn't go in the house and celebrate with everyone therefore came his father out and entreat entreated him and he answered lo these many years do i serve thee neither transgressed i at any time thy commandments and yet thou never gavest me a kid that I might make merry with my friends. But as soon as this thy son was come, which had devoured thy living with harlots, thou hast killed for him a fatted calf. So the eldest son was kind of, he was jealous and he was saying, Father, my brother had sinned. So here he is accusing his brother his brother know what he did wrong and he's repenting and here he is bringing up all the things that his brother is repenting for all because he's jealous instead of celebrating with them so i just show you it's not just with family it could happen with strangers it could happen with anybody like people get jealous you know what i mean instead of celebrating with you in sincerity they rather be envious and jealous. Sometimes you don't even know. You might not even, you might just be struggling just to, to make it through. And they just, for some reason, they just envy you instead of celebrating with you. So the father, hear what the father said to him. And he said unto him, son, thou art 
ever with me. And all that I have is thine. It was meet that we should make merry and be glad. For this thy brother was, was dead and is now alive again. So here he is, he's saying, it was meet that we should make merry and be glad for this thy brother was dead and is alive again and was lost and is found so this is very symbolic because i'm just playing like a little short clip so you guys could like visualize it a little bit see the youngest brother leaving home his father blessed him so he's going sometime, like I say, you gotta lose yourself to find yourself. And many a times we go in certain places, we get lost before we get found. It doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes it usually occurs. But here he is partying and bullshit and <laughs> enjoying his little life. And he spent up all his money and they, he ain't had no more money and they threw him out. So you see how when you have money, people treat you good. Like, it, and the minute you don't have no money, that's how you know if they really care for you. So you end up, this is like a little symbolical thing. Like, this, he's supposed to be telling the story, which is Jesus, to the disciples. And here's the son, he had to go into the thing the pen, pig pen, to feed the pigs in order to to eat. Cause he was so hungry, and he ended up he he was so hungry that he ended up eating what the pigs ate. He filled his belly with the swine food because he was so hungry. It could have been corn or whatever, cause you know pigs eat anything. But the point is, he was so poor away from home and when he's thinking about his life saying damn you know like i had everything and i ran away and everybody was my friend and then when i ran out of money they all threw me out so he was like you know what screw this i'm going back home i'm going to apologize to my dad and ask him for me to be his servant for i rather work for my father than work for anybody that will just use me. So he basically learned his lesson and he repent. And his father seen him from afar off and his father ran to him to hug him and kiss him because he missed him. And he sent his servant and said, bring the best robe and bring a ring and put on his finger and shoes on his feet and kill a fat calf and let's have a feast. Send for the musicians, play some music while we catch up on what was lost but now regained. What was dead but is now alive. And now he got all the fresh bread, all the food he needed. So this is Jesus telling the story to the disciples. And this is the story of the prodigal son. So here is the lesson in three different parts. The lost sheep, the sheep that was lost, represent the, the prodigal son too and also the coin that the lady lost. So here is the older brother upset and the father explaining to him that all I have is yours. Why are you this way? You should be happy your brother is alive. And you should be celebrating with us instead of being envious. But you see how the fight is within ourselves. The fight is not always outside of ourselves. 
because that's where it forms from our heart and our mind if we don't protect it. So there, here's the lesson. Hopefully this blessed you guys. I love you guys so much. I, I ask that you subscribe, like, share the video, comment down below, let me know what you think. And God's willing. God bless you guys and I'll see you in the next video. You could enjoy this little clip till it run out.